Hi fellow Toons or Toontown addicts. I must say, you are probably pretty deep into this if you're watching a Toontown merch unboxing video. Maybe you don't have any merch at this moment, maybe you're considering buying some Toontown merch, but here we are, here you are, I'm not sure why. So if you've played Toontown before, at least before it shut down, you might actually have a few of the pieces I open up today. Uh, as they are t from Toontown mailers, which Disney used to send out to subscribing members. Uh, I unfortunately never received any of those since I live in Canada. Uh, apparently they only sent them to US customers. So here I am, many years later, paying money for some collectible cardboard trading cards. Just to relive some nostalgia. So anywho, it's my first time, so I thought why not, let's record the unboxing. Uh, I very luckily found a nice group of Toontown merch collectors, particularly Football Toon, or who also now goes by SOS Shopping Spree on Etsy. And I will leave a link to his Etsy and eBay shop in the description. I really recommend checking out his Etsy shop, as right now he has a lot of uh, Series 3 um, trading cards up, and I believe he'll be stocking the shop with further things. And it's really convenient since you don't have to be scouring eBay uh, just to find a small lot of uh, duplicate cards. So anyways, he was really nice to sell me 56 unique uh, trading cards to kick start my collection uh, a few months ago. As well, I bought a newsletter off of him from eBay. So this must be the envelope with the newsletter. And it looks like he's included some extras in here. It looks to be a Toontown rewritten code. I'm not sure where he got that from. Some sort of virtual code for, for some item. Let's take a look here. Obviously, I'm going to claim this before I publish this on YouTube. Uh, here's a little thank you with his eBay name attached. Okay, now this is really cool. Um, this is custom made. It looks like um, it's like a little trading card sleeve. Wow, and this is really nice quality. I didn't expect to get this since I bought this several months ago. Oh, and here are some, it looks like, uh, trading card checklists. Uh, this seems to be Series 2 trading card checklist. Now, these are going to be really handy for starting my collection. Not that I should collect every single card. That's going to be a lot of money. <laughs> but um, I'm excited too. I think I'm going to guess this is uh, Series 3. It has no uh, Series 3 on it, but it says Two Town Trading Cards. So he also sells uh, these checklists, but like uh, I believe a better version of them colored on his uh, Etsy shop. And this is uh, another Series 2 trading card checklist in a different order. Everything seemed to arrived in really good condition, which I'm really happy about since I had to have it shipped twice in order to get to me. And this is the last one. I'm really happy he added these in here. Oh, and here are the Series 1. So far, I have no Series 1 cards. However, um, I did order some from a Toontown Co. Etsy shop, which has, I believe, mint condition cards. Um, and I really recommend checking them out, too. I'm going to put them in the description. Here's another look at this sleeve. I love this. I believe it was handcrafted, actually. He did a very good job at... Uh, Doing so, there's even a custom sticker on there. So now on to the newsletters. I'm going to be really surprised here because he actually included an extra newsletter in my package. Uh, and I absolutely love the one he sent me. It includes conceptual plans for Goofy Speedway. And it's in great quality. I think I like this one more than the one I bought since it's in such good quality. And if you pause the video, you can see that Goofy's Auto Shop is not where it actually appears in game. The location in game is right now Goofy's Speedway leaderboard. So on the other side, you can see top tunes, you can see a joke, tune tips, and what you can do in Goofy's Speedway and all the different tracks that there might be and the different types of carts you can customize your cart to look like. That was a newsletter from August 2005. Uh, the other newsletter is the one that came before it, 
July 2005. It comes with a nice mini poster on the back side of Toons looking out fireworks and it's saying celebrate summer with a bang. And this one's actually also Goofy Speedway themed. Comes with a little word search puzzle, top tunes, to another tune tip. And also has a joke which I like because I'm also a pig. Uh, what do you give pigs that have a sore throat? Oink mint. Ha, ah, very funny. Toontown jokes are always the best. So I'm really happy with these two newsletters. I'll definitely be keeping them safe or maybe framing them somewhere. So now to put all these things away, we'll move on to the cards. Now these cards are really neatly packed. They were actually packed almost too well in tissue paper. And I took some time carefully cutting them out. I almost didn't want to rip this tissue paper since it was so neat. So here I finally got the cards out and I will actually open them up for you at the end of the video uh, because it is quite a long clip. Now I'm going to move on to the smaller package. This was not sent through Toontown mailers. This was actually only received by people who went to the in uh, person convention Toon Fest in either 2006 or 2007 at either Disneyland or Disney World. Now I got this for a really good deal on eBay. However, I've seen this go for over 50 or 60 US dollars, which doesn't mean you actually should pay that much for it, but it is quite. It can be a quite an expensive item. So this is a Toontown pin. There's several different ones, so there's, there's still quite a few for me to collect, but I'm really happy this is the one I got because it includes Toontown's main character, Flippy, holding a pie. If I could get a good deal on some more pins, I would love to get a cog pin perhaps, as those are really recognizable with Toontown as well. However, I'm probably not willing to pay $50 for one. So this seems to be in really nice condition. It looks brand new. There's maybe a little spot on the purple pants that I can see, but that's about it. It looks like it's been sealed since it was received at Toonfest. I don't know much about pins. I'm not really any sort of pin collector. This is actually my very first pin. But I really do like this item. I would wear it out, but I only have one and I don't want to lose it, of course. It may be attached to a backpack or something. So the next item I'm really happy to have because I ha now have all these cards, but I really have nowhere to store them. So I managed to get a Toontown binder. I believe these were sent out, possibly in prize packs, but um, I also know they were available on the Toontown shop. There was a merchandise shop on Toontown. I think it was for around 10 USD when they were sold. This one was in quite good quality. I bought it for, I believe, 22 USD. It was a pretty good deal. Um, I did notice there are some little fleck marks or debris under the plastic cover on the front. But other than that, it seems to be in quite good condition. There might be some dust or scratches on the cover, but it's clean enough to store my cards in. And I'll be storing 
so far all the trading cards that can fit in here. I believe it stores somewhere around 60 trading cards. And you can see they fit perfectly in there. And I also love that it's a smaller sized binder. I don't like large binders. Um, I can keep it in a smaller space. It won't take up too much uh, shelf space. I also absolutely love the this artwork. Uh, I know there's a few versions of it available like on the CD-ROM case as well as um, I've seen a poster out there, a large frame size poster uh, with a very full quality uh, version of the artwork. I would love to obtain a, a scan or a high quality version of this. So this is originally from, I'm, I'm guessing 2003 when the first trading cards came out. So yeah, now I can put my cards somewhere. I'm really happy with this first drop of merchandise from Toontown. So now on to the cards. Now there's a lot to go through here. This will be around 10 minutes at least. I believe I had to speed up this footage two times as I went through them so slowly. But uh, these are all organized. Uh, Football Tune organized them for me. And we're going to start off with the cogs, the cell, cell bot cogs. So the first cog here is the telemarketer. I absolutely love all the artwork, especially on the Series 3 and the Series 1 cards. Series 2, are is I think it's okay. Uh, but they really give more insight into uh, how cogs might look, maybe uh, different interpretations of the cogs, and some extra info. So you can see their likes and dislikes. Here's the name drop dropper. You can see there's even a photo of the big cheese in the background, and I can't tell what the other cog was. I think it was a money bag. So name dropper, their tagline, it's who you know. I believe there's a little number three in the corner here. I think it symbolizes series three for the series three trading cards. I also love this artwork from the mover and shaker. So another cell bot. You can see the tune has multiple, almost multiple frames like they would do in cartoons or older animations in one single frame. This is Mr. Hollywood. This is quite a creepy card, I would say. It's a creepy interpretation of Hollywood. You can see all of his large, large teeth. Of course, a lot of the to uh, dislikes from the cogs are the tunes. So onto the cash bots. Let's see which ones I got. So this is a bean counter. He's counting beans, of course. See his little math machine in the background. some of his signature attacks oh and the number cruncher everyone loves this cog everyone loves that task in mini melodies when you have to defeat so many of them I'm not quite sure if the number cruncher is male or female if you could give them a gender maybe they're just a they likes rational numbers the bottom feeder. Oh, this is one of my favorite cogs, I have to say. Eats trash. <laughs> can't, can't get better than that. Here's the double talker proposing to a tune. Dislikes tunes. Straight answers. He likes George Orwell. That's interesting. Oh, this is the Spin Doctor. Spin Doctor is another one of my favorite cogs. I remember when I first started playing Toontown and when I would enter buildings in Toontown Central. Everyone who's entering the buildings would, of course, go sad. But um, uh, the Spin Doctor was the one who would deal the final blows typically in these buildings. Oh, and here's the big wig. So this is the, this is the law bot line. I forgot to mention that. And finally, here are the boss bots. Here's the yes man. 
Yes Man's another creepy cog. At least in this artwork. Big, big teeth, just like the Hollywood. I'm guessing the Glad Handler would be the same. As they all have similar uh, textures. Here's the head hunter. Hunting toon heads. He looks a little less silly in this artwork than he does in game. <laughs> like skeletons. See, this all comes with a little bit of extra story in these cards, which I really love. And I also have this Skelecogs card. Likes movies with robots. Rust proofing, of course. Skelecogs are nasty. They can use any cog attack. So now onto the fish. Oh my goodness. It looks like we got a lot of fish here. We might have almost a whole collection of them. A more eel. So I'll try, I believe I tried to go a little bit faster as I know this video was taking so long, but it shows all the different types of, of that specific uh, fish species on the back. Here's the balloon fish and it shows where you can get them, their rarity and their weights. Bear Akuda. Looks like he's attracted by those jelly beans. The catfish. And here you can see the catfish being chased by the dogfish. Oh yes, the clownfish. So interestingly here he's blue, but I believe in game he is green. Cutthroat Trout. Almost like a pirate. It's the original swordfish. Ah, the Devil Ray. I never caught this one in Toontown Online, but I managed to catch this one. You can see a video on my channel with a bamboo, or no, a wooden um, fishing rod. Hey, here's the dogfish. Here's the frozen fish. This is actually one of my favorite fish. This one and the moonfish, the holy mackerel, with the more meal going right through him. Oh, here's the moonfish. He's on the moon, of course. The astronomical moonfish. Oh, and the nurse shark. Mrs. White, telephone, please. Peanut butter and jellyfish. I love the puns in this game. Uh, in this game, they are absolutely fantastic. Pool shark. Oh, look! There's a mermaid in the background. It seems like that seems to be the most human character I've seen in this game so far. The seahorse. I always get tricked by this one. I think of seahorses. That's actually a seahorse. <laughs> Here's the last card of the pile. This is a starfish. So we got quite a collection of fish. I'm not sure if we missed any. Hmm, I can't think of any that we might have missed. I'll have to take a look at that after. So now here comes the second pack. I'll open these up. I'm assuming these are the gag cards since we've had the cog cards and the fish cards. So yes, these are the gag cards. So we're gonna start here with Tune Up. This isn't sound, it's actually Tune Up, it's the megaphone. So my first tune was actually Tune Up Less, sadly. <laughs> here you can see the description on the back. What it does, it's accuracy. Bamboo cane and pixie dust. Yeah, I used to think that um, you could just use a pet doodle to tune everyone up, but guess who never actually trained his doodle? So here's also the traps with a rake, the marbles. Now lure the magnet. 
So for the dollar, five dollar, one dollar, ten dollar bill, they just use the name Cog Catcher. Because obviously it catches cogs. It's a dollar bill. What what do they like more than money? I don't think anything. The bicycle horn. There's sound. The whistle. You can see the penny pincher. Ooga. And the fog horn, blowing away what looks to be a flunky. Now throw. Here's some fruit pies being made in the factory, presumably for Goofy's gag shop. I wonder how many jelly beans he's earning per hour. Cream pie. Birthday cake. Squirting flour. Not to squirt now. Squirt gun. Seltzer bottle. I'm not sure what cog that is in the f art. Fire hose. Looks like if you love squirt, you might be a firefighter. Storm cloud. I believe that card looks quite similar to the Series 1 version of the card as well. 